What's up guys MR. Newmobile here. OnePlus Nord has officially been revealed. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. We finally have the official rebel of the OnePlus Note that we now know its full specs design and launch date. Unlike most other leaks we have, though, a lot of this information that came from OnePlus directly before we get started with the repair work. Please like the video. If you are a fan of OnePlus let me know in the comments if you can be purchasing the OnePlus Note. Was there another phone you have your eye on this time round? We had so much information. I don't even know where to start. Copay showed us the OnePlus Note, himself, had a full spec sheet linked full camera details pre-orders opening up, and used the OnePlus Buds alerting alongside the OnePlus Note. We put the OnePlus Plus launching alongside the OnePlus and Old One. Plus, and provided headphones in the past, such as the Bullets, the OnePlus Buds are more of a true wireless experience, but they do look very similar to airports, when they are a bit late to the market with these. It will of course and it's looking like a very capable device will go through all of the specs now, as we will cover them towards the end of the video, with the specs leaked by Evan Glass, in the reportedly up from a virtual NOR training presentation of the specs, appear to be accurate. The design is of course incorrect. This is meant to be the case. However, as Evan advises the design is simply a placeholder. This is also obvious as report a single rate camera in the image with the court camera setup listed. It does confirm things that we already knew and were hoping for, such as the 90Hz AMOLED display the court camera set up on the rear digital cameras on the front, and the Snapdragon 675G next up, we have the review of the one, plus note that I guess we can be cooling official, as it came from Carp himself. Those that don't know what Copay is the co-founder of One, plus you usually see them on stage at the One Plus lawn chairs Copay had a 20-minute interview with YouTube and KPHD. They mainly discuss things in such a smartphone cost and production, but we did get a look at the One, plus note we were first given a glimpse of the original One, plus note in as you can see, it's very sus, and this is the reason for the delays, and pushed the lots back over a month. Some of you may have also seen this prototype in some earlier documentary videos he ventures as the final design, and interestingly enough, he says, is the design they settled with probably not the best phrasing, considering their slogan is never settled really shows off the one, plus note final design from the front and the backswing, now know we getting a dual camera on the front, and the court camera set up on the rear in this vertical camera alignment, and of course a LED flash in the top right. This also confirms the OnePlus Note is coming in the grey interior color variants. We don't know if there's going to be any extras throughout the interview. He also gave plenty of confirmations on features and specs, and explained how they wanted the OnePlus in order to be a budget mid-range phone, but still be comfortable to use and provided that flagship experience. He confirmed it will have the 90Hz AMOLED display, which is one of the most important features can have a 4115 million power battery, to easily last the day will of course come with reasonable cameras, we'll cover in detail shortly. Isn't the most powerful chipset, but it is good. Turns out, it may be the OnePlus Nord, and not the OnePlus e Instagram account for OnePlus actually messed up. Or maybe they were just calling us. They posted a picture and resume, and carefully, we can see it refers to the OnePlus Nord Instagram account actually deleted this picture pretty quickly, so it was either a genuine mistake, or the trying to throw us off track. We also had a shocking new discovery. The OnePlus Note we have two cameras on the front, and this will be at your poncho camera report came from Android Central who said that an insider has advised them the OnePlus, nor is coming with the 32 megapixel and 8 megapixel dual camera set up on the front. The 32 megapixel is of course the primary. The 8 megapixel is can be a wide angle lens. They also stated that, well it is counter to everything we've been told so far. It or they're down in the thread. We had four or two lenses at the back of the OnePlus Nord. He confirmed to have four lenses on the back and that means, if he is right. We can have six cameras in toto on the new OnePlus Nord. We also had a daily countdown from the OnePlus Nord Instagram. This tells us the official launch event is tomorrow the counter was continued in today's is even titled, see something new tomorrow for the latest news is true about the OnePlus Nord, that means OnePlus have successfully fooled all of the leakers and consumers, and for once the smartphone company has managed to keep a very good secret. Given that we had, so many weeks early on for the OnePlus Nord we even have hands on videos. It's crazy to think, that this could have just been a prototype that's not a final design, and it's never going to make it to consumers. 
It appears that the rest of the old information was still correct, though, apart from the cameras in the poncho to the chipset, and the display can be exact. The handset was originally rumored to be called variously the OnePlus 8 Lite and OnePlus C, and the OnePlus Nord name also saw its fair share of leaks, and it's the moniker the firm has settled on. In its announcement, OnePlus said that Nord is also a new product line for the company, which may mean the affordable handset, which the firm has confirmed, is on its way, will have a name that's an extension of OnePlus Nord. OnePlus founder and CEO Pete Lau confirmed that the OnePlus Nord smartphone will be available in Europe and India first, while a select number of users in North America will also get a chance to experience the new device through a highly limited beta program after launch. It's not clear why OnePlus is running a beta program in the US, or how many units will be available, but we'll update you when we know more. OnePlus also confirmed, via its Instagram channel, that 100 units of its new smartphone will be available to order at 9 a.m. BST, 4 a.m. EDT, 1 a.m. PDT, on July 1st. OnePlus Nord, everything you need to know in depth reviews. OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro meet Xiaomi's OnePlus Nord rival, the Poco F2 Pro. This is in 2015 that OnePlus is launching an affordable handset alongside its flagship offering. OnePlus hasn't provided any further information on the OnePlus Nord yet, so that name is all we know for certain, but various leaks have hinted at what we may be able to expect. According to a recent rumor, the OnePlus Nord is set to have dual front-facing cameras, 32MP plus 8MP, in a punch hole cutout in the corner of the screen. Meanwhile, a specs leak suggests the OnePlus Nord will come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 760. Enough using the system on a chip allows them to keep the cost of the OnePlus Note down for day-to-day -day use. You will notice the difference. It's not to be able to play the latest 3D games in full detail, but it will still be able to play them. It can be able to provide a pleasurable experience for day-to-day -day use, but just can't do anything to demanding Evan Blass also treated early on a range of cases lead the one. Plus note one of the most interesting cases was of course the Jared Everything case, which has now been confirmed by the official OnePlus Twitter, and gives us a look at what the inside of the OnePlus Note looks like, but overall it's looking like a good mid-range phone that won't break the bank, but it will provide you with the specs and design you want. The phone is being launched on 21 July, just 6 days time, and given that we already have the specs and run through them now to help you guys decide if this is the phone for you. So when it comes to the OnePlus Nord did we get a pretty much full screen display, which is a fluid analyzer 6.44 inch display at a resolution of 1080x2400. This gives us a 20x9 aspect ratio and a 409 pick and in display fingerprint scanner. The ponchos of the camera consists of a 32-megapixel wide-angle camera with an aperture of f2.45, we getting 8-megapixel ultralight with an aperture of f2.45, is capable of 1080p video at 30 frames a second, but it doesn't have optical image stabilization. When it comes to the rear of the OnePlus Note, we go to court camera setup in the vertical camera alignment ever. 48 megapixel primary sensor with a wide angle lens aperture of f1.75. This is both a phase detect autofocus as well as optical image stabilization. This is supported by an 8 megapixel ultralight with an aperture of f2.25 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.4 and finally a 2 megapixel macro camera with an aperture of f2.4 OnePlus Note as jowl LED flash and it does support HDR it allows for full K or 1080p video but only 30 frames a second this is most likely down to which we can system on a chip it will provide electronic and optical stabilization the phone comes with 6 gigs of ram and 128 internal storage or other one plus phones recently on plus note is powered by the snapdragon 765g which is a capable chipset power the phone is going to manage day-to-day -day tasks with no issues and it's only can a struggle with the very demanding tasks it has 5g connectivity nfc Bluetooth 5.1 and it's powered by a 4150 million power battery with 30 watt what child support and unfortunately it does not have the 3.5 no headphone jack will likely see deals for the one plus parts no overall it's looking like a great mid-range smartphone should compete well with the Pixel 4a and the iPhone South Carolina is providing us with a decent 90 hertz display and respectable camera set up on the way the means for most people it can be able to do everything they need of course if you're a gamer, then this isn't the phone for you for anyone else. It's definitely going to be worth considering as launching in Europe and India first, and then it may go to North America later on its low price is expected to be just under $500, and it is of course can be an online only launch event that will also be at actually started another round of pre-orders today to give you the OnePlus Note mystery gift, along with the one. Of course, that's all the news we have for the OnePlus Note today that is pretty much everything covered.
As always, though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments who's excited for the OnePlus Note, and if not then what phone are you excited for? Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next